And now at 12.30, a disturbing video of an alleged locker room hazing, a teen screaming for help as he's hit with a belt, sparks an investigation at one high school in San Bernardino County. Los Osos High School officials reported saying that incident was just horseplay. But the mother of the teen being Hayes says that the video is horrifying and she is demanding action. KTLA fights Chip Yost joining us live from Rancho Cucamonga with the story. Chip. Yeah, hey there, Glenn and Lou. Just a little bit earlier, we spoke to the parents of this football player who you're about to see in this video, and they say they want to see some of the people involved in this held accountable. The video of this 16-year-old football player in the Los Osos High School locker room being held down and hit by two much bigger players is something that that young man's parents say they don't want to see happen to any other kid again. One of the kids come behind him and starts chokeholding him. Like, and so my son is trying to get himself free and he's yelling like, stop, 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 no, stop. And the other boy is whipping him with a belt, which is assault and a weapon. And other kid, another kid is recording him and another kid is walking past like laughing. Cassandra and Lonnie, who didn't want their last names used, say the incident happened on October 11th, yet they were not told about it until about nine days later, after the video had already made the rounds of the school. At first, they say their child got in trouble for the incident, accused of horseplay, along with the rest of the players involved. They say the school later reversed course on that, but they still want accountability. I need those kids off the premises, and I need the school to make this a serious deal so then other kids, this won't happen to them. We need, all these kids need a voice. So, because if this can happen in just a locker room, what more could be happening? What more could be going on at these schools? The superintendent of the Chaffee Joint Union High School District gave us a statement that said in part, we were deeply troubled when we became aware of the incident and began an immediate investigation. We spoke with all students involved in the video as well as their parents, coaches and other players. The school and district view this incident as hazing, which we do not tolerate.